far as those historic ice storms of the past, this one is going to be significant, uh, but not looking to rival situations like that, thank goodness. But the impacts could be widespread as far as travel conditions go, and yes, we could end up with a few power outages out of this as well. But so far, it is still just wet in Lexington, although we are down to around freezing. And we're getting reports coming out of Georgetown, parts of Scott County, of some light icing up there. It's been ongoing for a couple of hours up towards Covington. And then back to the west, you can see uh, that mixed precipitation. So it's only a matter of time. This shows the freezing line where temperatures are at freezing at the surface. And it is gradually working its way into our northern counties. So as that continues to progress south, we will eventually change over from the rain that we're seeing to that mixed precipitation, that icy mix. This is a couple of hours of data. You can see the moisture streaming in. It has been absolutely soggy. We've been swamped, had over an inch of rain in Lexington in the past 24 hours. But as this pink advances, by mid to late afternoon especially, that's where we're going to see that potential for that icing. So the LEX 18 Storm Tracker Future Track, Taking you out through the afternoon, notice how it starts to drop south. And we will be in and out of it a lot through the afternoon, uh, but that ice will start to you know, accrete on tree branches, raised surfaces, cars that are parked outside. And then tonight, as that colder air comes crashing in, we'll transition from this light mixed precipitation to some sleet and some snow just to cap it off. So you're going to have multiple modes of precipitation that you're going to have to deal with on the roads or on the sidewalks if you're trying to walk in it. So just be aware of that. So we're going to keep a very close eye on that transition of rain to ice. It'll be a gradual progression through the afternoon. Then the deep freeze sets in. We'll talk about the potential implications of that and your eight-day forecast here coming up.